Hi, and welcome to the Rotrex video tutorials. I'm Ben, and today we're going to talk about pulleys, how to choose the right size, and how to change them. Firstly, we'll do a quick run through of the different styles of pulleys you might encounter. All the Rotrex pulleys are available from 70 to 110 millimeters in 5 millimeter increments, with the exception of the C38R, which has the smallest pulley of 75 millimeters. All our pulleys accept PK profile belts up to 8 ribs, and again the C38 is up to 10 ribs. Firstly, we have the old style center bolt Rotrex steel pulley. These are an older generation, and today we won't be discussing these. Then we have the C38R pulley. This one features 10 ribs and is specific to the C38R. It mounts in the same style as the C15, C30 and C38, but it will not fit on these models. Then, in 2022, we released this style of pulley. Instead of the center bolt, they have six bolt pattern to make it easier to change. And they have the size written on it. They're made of aluminium, so they're a lot lighter. And they have this safety feature so that the belt doesn't run off. These fit the C15, the C30, and the C38. When choosing a pulley size, there's a few things to consider. Of course, you probably have a power or boost target, but what's more important is actually knowing what speed you're running the supercharger, because overspeeding it can damage it. Remember, going to a smaller pulley will make the supercharger spin faster. So, to calculate the pulley size, there's a little math involved. If you're not interested in that, we have calculators on our website. In general, you need to know the engine size, the engine speed, and which model of supercharger you have. So, to avoid overspinning the supercharger, we're going to calculate the smallest pulley we can mount on our supercharger. To do that, we'll look in the technical data sheet. Now, in this example, we're going to look at the C38, which has a max impeller speed of 90,000 RPM and an internal gear ratio of 7.5, meaning 12,000 RPM on the input. Now, let's say we have an engine that has a red line at 8,000 RPM and a crankshaft pulley of 150 millimeters. We can then divide 12,000 on the supercharger by 8,000 on the engine, and we get a ratio of 1.5. Now we take this ratio and divide the crank pulley diameter of 150 by 1.5, and, and we get 100 millimeters. So that will be our minimum supercharger pulley size. And remember, when changing pulley size, you may need to change the belt length as well. Now for the actual pulley change procedure, of course you're going to need your old supercharger with the old pulley. You're going to need a new pulley, a T30 wrench, a torque wrench with a T30 bit set to 10 newton meters, and you're going to need something to hold the pulley. This could, for example, be a strap wrench, or if the supercharger is out of the vehicle, a vise with some soft jaws, or if it's still in the vehicle, you can actually crack the bolts loose with the belt still attached. Firstly, you're going to hold on to your pulley to stop it from spinning. Then, you're going to crack loose the six bolts holding the pulley. Now, you can remove the belt holder and you can now remove the six bolts completely. With the six bolts removed, you can now remove the pulley, this may take some force. With the pulley removed, we're going to grab our new pulley, press it on to the supercharger, make sure to line up the bolt holes. With the pulley pressed in place, you can reinsert the six bolts and tighten them by hand. With the bolts reinserted and the pulley holding tool on, we're going to tighten the six bolts in a cross pattern to 10 newton meters. You're now done changing pulleys. Don't forget to check your belt length. We hope this video has been helpful and we hope you enjoy your Rotrex Supercharger.